Today, it's a great day to open up our heart, to open up the hips, to work on some arm balances and to go upside down. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna begin lying on our backs. So come all the way to a lying position. And let's begin with Baddha Konasana. Bring soles of your feet to touch. Open up your knees wide like a butterfly. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your beautiful heart. Melt your shoulders all the way down to the earth. Soften your face. Relax the entire body. And set an intention for today's practice. And as you're setting an intention, begin to focus on your breath. So right away, ignite your ujjayi pranayama, creating beautiful oceanic sound with your breath. Preparing your body for the practice, connecting into the present moment. Again, seal your intention with your breath. Gently bring your eyes to open. Close your legs together like a book and then a little bit rock side to side. Massage your entire spine. Into figure four, place your left ankle on top of your right knee. Bring your right shin bone parallel to the earth and then you can, option one, lace your fingertips below your knee or behind your thigh. Depends how deep you would like to go. Now pressing the left knee away from you and right knee towards your face. So to the opposite direction. And feeling a really nice and juicy stretch in your left hip. You can keep your eyes closed if you like to here. And just take a few cycles of breath. Now with your right foot, imagine that you're pressing a wall against you so you can guide that right knee closer towards your face. Keep your legs as they are. Gently let go of your arms, of your grip. Open up the arms to the side. Bring the gaze towards your left shoulder and begin to drop your Feet all the way to the right into a gentle figure four supine twist. Take a big breath in, a full breath out. Guide the knees back to chest and let's switch side. Bring the right ankle on top of your left knee. Left shin bone parallel to the earth. Again, find the same grip or maybe different as each side feels different. Now, for example, I feel much tighter on my right side, but again, everyone is different. Flex both of your feet to protect your knees. Pressing the right knee away from you, left knee toward you for a deeper sensation and just find a few deep breaths. Say good morning, hello to your hips. Keep the legs as they are. Let go of your grip. Open up the arms wide to the side. Bring the gaze over your right shoulder and begin to drop your legs all the way to the left. Keeping the right shoulder grounded. If you want to go deeper with your left hand, you can squeeze the knees closer to the earth. Big breath in. Big breath out. And then guide your knees back to chest, unwind the legs a little bit, rock side to side, reset your spine, and then place your feet down to the mat. We're gonna go, we're gonna go into two rounds of bridge pose. So reach to your heels, touch the heels with your fingertips, and as you inhale, begin to lift your hips up to the sky, shimmy on your shoulder blades, relax your glutes, you might clasp your hands here, press the earth away with your knuckles, chin away from your chest, just warming up your back gently and slow, breathe in, breathe out, and then begin to roll down one vertebra at a time, tailbone coming last. 
knock your knees toward each other and take one deep cleansing in breath. And exhale, let go of something that doesn't serve you for the practice. <sighs> then second set of bridge pose. I'm going to begin to lift your seat bones, your hips, shimmy, shimmy on your shoulder blades. Now this time I want you to sweep the arms up and over your head and see if you can come to a little bit higher bridge. Relax your glute muscles. Chin away from your chest, so pressing the neck into the earth. Full breath in, full breath out. Gently roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Hug the knees into your chest, rock side to side, neutralize your lower back. Now let's extend the legs all the way up to the sky. Flex your feet. We want to create an L shape with our body. So keep your legs at 90 degrees, pressing the lower back into the earth. Lace the fingertips behind your head into basic crunches. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, peel the shoulder blades. Press the lower back into the earth. Keep the elbows open wide, chin up like you're holding an apple in between your chin and chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, come a little bit higher. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up, lower. And exhale, up. And now let's keep moving for 10, nine, maybe add a smile, eight, seven, because with the smile, it's always much easier, six, five. All the time that you're coming up, come a little bit higher. Place that lower back into the earth, three, Last two, we're going to hold our last one, hold. Extend the fingertips to your toes like you want to touch your toes and then pulse it up, up, up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Begin to feel the tapas, that heat in your abdomen wall. 3, 2, hold, reach, reach, press the lower back into the earth and then slowly release. Hug the knees to your chest. Rock side to side. Take a big breath in. And again, exhale, let go of something that doesn't serve you for your practice. <sighs> now bring the fingertips again behind your head into yogi bicycles. Inhale to prepare your shin bones parallel to the earth, knees over your hips. Exhale, right knee to your left excuse me, right elbow to your left knee, extend the right leg long, hold both shoulder blades up. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch, hold, squeeze the navel into your lower back, lower back into the earth. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Now keep moving. Find your own pace. Find your own breath. Then slower you move, then more you challenge yourself. Try to keep your knees over your hip bones. And bringing that elbow into your knee, not the knee, into your elbow. Beautiful. Moving for 10, 9, 8, 7, last 6. You got this. Keep going. 5, 4, 3, last 2. Last one. Beautiful release. Hug the knees to your chest. Rock side to side. Now bring the fingertips behind your knees. We're going to rock and roll forward and back. Find momentum. Press the feet into the earth and come up into Uttanasana. Forward fold. Wow. Now a little bit sway side to side. Maybe bend your knees. Maybe grab the opposite elbows into ragdoll. Drop your head and neck. Say hello to your hamstrings, heel to your feet, keep a slight distance in between the heels, inhale, halfway lengthen your spine, gaze in front of you, you can place your fingertips on your shins or reach them to the earth as long as you have flat long spine, pull the belly in, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Udvar Hastasana, reach the arms up high. Exhale, plug the hands into your heart. Find a moment of stillness before we're going to flow our sun salutation. A one breath, one movement. Reconnect with your intention. 
Reconnect with your ujjayi breath. Bring your eyes to open. Inhale, float the arms up high. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or float your feet into plank. Lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, set the gaze. Exhale, step or float your feet in between the hands. Halfway lengthen, breathe in. Fall forward, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, Udva Hastasana, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up, energize your fingertips. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lengthen, inhale. Exhale, step or float back, lower chaturanga. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing, breathe out. One more flow, inhale, set the gaze. Exhale, step or float your feet. Halfway lengthen, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms to the sun, salute the sun. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bow to the earth, salute the earth. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or float back, lower vinyasa, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Cleansing in breath in through your nose. And then open mouth, exhale, let it out. <sighs> Inhale, set your gaze. Exhale, step or float your feet in between the hands. Halfway lengthen, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend your knees, sink low. Keep your fingertips on the earth. Sink your hips lower, slowly. Curl your tailbone and suck your belly in. And on the inhale, begin to lift your arms up. Biceps in line with your ears. Slightly roll the pinkies in. Stay low. Squeeze the inner thighs like you're squeezing a block in between your inner thighs. Gaze in front of you. Find a smile. Inhale. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, lift your left knee up. Exhale, figure four. Left ankle on top of your right knee and bring the hands to your heart center. Now squat down, go lower. Flex your left foot to protect your left knee. Suck that belly in and up. Hold, enjoy the stretch in your left hip. Big breath in. Exhale back into chair pose, sweep the arms up. Inhale, lift the right knee up. Exhale, figure four, opposite side, right ankle on top of your left knee, hands to heart center, sink a little bit lower. Beautiful, keep the weight in your heel, left heel, sink lower, breathe, lift your heart, squeeze the base of your palms. Feel also the activation in your triceps, in your biceps. Big breath in, exhale, chair pose. Inhale, come all the way up. Straight legs, exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Halfway lengthen. Inhale, glance out. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of your mat. Low lunge. Ground your palms. Inhale, sweep your right heel up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Square your hips. Suck that belly in and up. Praise the earth away with your Palms and bring your chest closer to your left thigh. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to your left elbow. Shift the weight forward. Align the shoulders over your wrist. Slightly pivot. Smile. Inhale, sweep your right heel up to the sky. Three-legged. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Hinge forward, shoulders over the wrist. Really important. Close your core. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, knee to your left elbow, hold. Come to the inner arch of your left foot. See if you can lift the left arm up into fallen triangle. You can extend the right leg in front of you or see if you can hover it. Use your oblique muscles here. Use your core and feel the strength. Inhale, 
Stay with your exhale. Bring the left hand down. Inhale, sweep your right heel up to the sky. Exhale, open the knee and open up your hip. Beautiful. Hang here, square the shoulders. Maybe extend the leg straight. Energize your toes. Rebend that knee and then into wild thing. Begin to guide the toes and then flip over. Lift the right arm up. Lift your hips. Lift your heart. Reach, reach, reach through your fingertips. Big breath in. Exhale into side plank. Bring the right foot on top of your left. Strong, powerful side plank. Lift your hips. Now let's hug that right knee into your chest. Pivot to the front, to the balls of your left foot. Hug that right knee and then help yourself to step your foot through into a low lunge. Pivot your left foot flat. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Extend the arms up to shoulder height. Now press through the outer edge of your left foot so you can feel your back leg slipping strong and engaged. Reach through your fingertips, gaze forward. Inhale, come up, straighten the right leg. Connect your palms, look upward. Exhale, sink into your warrior, go lower. Inhale, come up, look up. Exhale, warrior two, sink lower. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sink back, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Pivot the heels and toes out. Exhale, warrior two to the opposite side. So this time, your left heel in line with your right arch. Strong upper arm, shoulders over your hips. Inhale, come up. Look up, connect your palms. Exhale, sink into your warrior. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Send the left arm up, up, up. Keep pressing the left knee forward. Stretch the side body. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel your hands down. Pause. Walk your left foot to the outer edge of your mat. Heel in, toes out. Drop to your right knee. Runner's lunge. You can stay with your arms straight. Or maybe come down to forearms for a deeper stretch. Catch up with your breath. Maybe close your eyes for a second. Reconnect with your intention. And ask yourself, are you fully present here on your mat or your mind wandering in some other places? If so, focus on the breath and come back into the present moment. Now make your way back to straight arms. Tuck the right toes under, elevate your right knee. Good, we're gonna work into running men or you can stay in your runner's lunge. So begin to work your left shoulder underneath your left knee. Bring the left hand in front of you and begin to walk, walk, walk that left foot forward. Hinge forward, try to come into chaturanga arms, resting your left thigh on your left tricep. Now hinge forward, maybe tuck that right elbow to your belly, extend your left leg up and then right. And then try to hold here, gaze forward, lift your chest, energize your toes. Three, two, one, step back into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, set your gaze. Exhale, step or float your feet in between the hands. Halfway lengthen, inhale. Bow over your legs, exhale. Inhale, chair pose, sink low. Crawl the tailbone, squeeze the inner thighs, find a smile. Inhale, lift your left knee up. Exhale, figure four. Sink low, squeeze your palms, sink lower, and just breathe. 
and breathe. We're gonna go deeper today into flying pigeon. So check in with yourself how deep you can go to stretch your outer hip. Inhale, exhale back into chair pose. Inhale, lift your right knee up. Exhale, figure four, right ankle on top of your left knee. Sink lower, stretch that outer hip, lift your heart, engage your core, breathe, smile, inhale, exhale back into chair pose, inhale, press to your feet, come all the way up, connect your palms, exhale, swan dive, forward fold, half filling, then inhale, exhale, step the right foot to the back of your mat, low lunge, ground your palms, inhale, three-legged, sweep the left heel up to the sky, Exhale, your left knee to your right tricep, twist, inhale, sweep your left heel up, exhale, left knee to your left tricep, shoulders over your wrists, inhale, sweep that left heel up, exhale, knee to your right tricep, hold, come to the inner arch of your right foot, sweep the right arm up to the sky, Ooh, and then fall in triangle, hover or extend that leg. Lift the hips higher. So see with yourself how deep you want to go. Shaking, it's perfect. Right hand down. Sweep that left heel back to the sky. Inhale. Bend your knee, exhale, open up your hip. Work your left shoulder down to square your hips. Maybe extend that left leg. Energize your toes, breathing. Exhale, wild thing. Work your toes all the way down, back behind you, and then flip over. Lift your hips, lift your heart. Young, wild, and free. Enjoy it, feel it, leave it. Big breath in, exhale, side plank. Bring the right leg on top of your left. Good, lift the hips higher. Reach through your left fingertips to touch the ceiling. Let's hug the left knee into your chest. Hug, hug. Pivot to the front. Come to the balls of your right foot. And then help yourself to step your left foot forward. Pivot the right foot into warrior two. And as you inhale, sweep the right arm up. And come up into warrior two. Sink lower, inhale, straighten the left leg, come up, connect your palms, exhale, sink into warrior two, inhale, come up, exhale, sink, inhale, come up, exhale, sink, one more, inhale, come up, exhale, sink. Inhale, come up into star. Pivot the heels in, toes out. Exhale, warrior two, opposite side. Align the right heel with your left arch. Sink low. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. See if you can sink lower, deeper. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Send the right arm up. Bring the gaze up. Press that right knee forward. Lean more back. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Will the hands down. Drop to your left knee. And walk your right foot to the outer edge of your mat into runner's lunge. Time to catch up with the breath. Maybe bring the forearms down. Reconnect with the breath. Ask yourself, can I breathe a little bit deeper? Can I use the full capacity of my lungs? Yes, you can. Beautiful, now come back to your straight arms if you're not there. 
and moving into runner, running main. So elevate your left knee, begin to work your right shoulder underneath your right leg. Squeeze that left foot to the middle. Place your right hand down. Spread the fingertips wide. Begin to walk, walk, walk that right foot forward. Hinge forward, prepare the chaturanga arms. Extend the right leg and then see if you can float your left foot back behind you. Energize your toes. You can point, you can point, hold for three, two, one. Step back, chaturanga, inhale. Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Fill up your lungs with air, open mouth, exhale, let it out. Inhale, sweep your right heel up to the sky. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, come up high, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana, sweep your arms all the way up, sink low. Take a big breath in. Exhale, get ready to warrior three. Hinge forward, shift the weight. Begin to float your left foot back behind you. Try to keep your arms straight. Biceps in line with your ear, flex your left foot. And rotate your left inner thigh up to the sky so you can square your hips. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, one legged Tadasana. Draw the left knee into your chest. Exhale, figure four. Left ankle on top of your right knee. Squat down. Squeeze the base of your palms. So, stage one, you're going to stay just right here. Stage two, begin to work your fingertips all the way down to the earth. Sink a little bit lower. And maybe let's play with some arm balance, flying pigeon. So, ground your palms down. Pressing through the heels of your hands and then hug your right tricep with your left toes. Lean forward, set the gaze in front of you, come high in your right toes and then maybe see if you can hover that right foot and then gently release. And again, hinge forward, use your core, hover, maybe extend that right leg all the way back behind you into full expression of half pigeon and then make your way back. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Bring that left knee into your chest. Exhale, dancer pose. Sweep that left foot back behind you. Grab the inner arch of your foot. On the inhale, lengthen. And exhale, begin to kick, kick, kick forward. Nice. Keep your drish to your gaze in one unmoving spot. Stage one, stay here. Stage two, go, go into a king pigeon. Begin to slide your left toe into your left elbow crease and maybe lace your fingertips together. Lift your heart. Keep the gaze in one moving spot. Focus on your breath. Big breath in, big breath out. Gently come back into dancer pose, inhale. Exhale, chapasana. Hinge at your hips, lead with your chest, sprinkle the right fingertips down and then kick, kick your left foot up to the sky. Good. Into half moon, let go your left foot, spiral your chest and heart open and flex your left foot, sweep your fingertips higher, big breath in. Exhale, warrior two, soften the right knee and then gently land into warrior two. Make adjustments as needed. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lean back, side body stretch. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged, sweep your right heel up to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, right knee to your right tricep. Now let's try to go into running man from here. So hinge forward, lean, lean, bend the elbows like each other, Ranga. Extend the right leg up and then float your left toes back behind you. Energize your toes. Big breath in. Exhale, Vinyasa, Chaturanga. Upwards facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Fill up your lungs with air. Open mouth, let it out. 
Inhale, sweep your left heel back behind you. Three-legged. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Come up. Exhale, sink into your lunge. Elevate your left heel, press to your left foot. So feeling that back leg really strong and engaged. Soften your shoulders. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, warrior three. Hinge forward, begin to float your right toes off the mat and then slowly with control, moving with the breath. Warrior three, biceps by your ears. Firmly pressing your left big toe into the earth. Square the hips. Use your breath, use your prana. Inhale, stay with your exhale. Inhale, one-legged mountain toe pose. Draw the right knee into your chest. Exhale, figure four. Right ankle on top of your leg, squatting down. Sink lower. Maybe sprinkle your right fingertips to the earth if you need space. Hop back a little bit. And then maybe you want to play here with the flying pigeon. So see if you can place your palms down to the earth, spread the fingertips nice and wide. Begin to hinge forward, hug your left tricep with your right toes, gaze in front of you, create a chatter on the arms, maybe float the left toes and then come back. And then see if you can go second round and then float your left leg all the way straight up into a full expression of pigeon. Then gently release, come back. Inhale, one legged mountain pose. Woo, losing balance. That's okay. Just come back with a smile. Exhale, dancer pose. Float the right toes back behind you. Grab the inner arch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, begin to kick that right foot back behind you. Stay with your breath. I don't know how about you guys, but this side is so challenging for me. So stage one, just stay here in your dancer. Stage two, try to go into a king dancer. Begin to slide your right foot into the elbow crease, then kick that right knee a little bit higher and see if you can connect your fingertips. Kicking that knee a little bit higher, lift your chest, going into a deeper back bend, big breath in. Big breath out, make your way back into dancer. Take a breath in, exhale into chapasana, begin to hinge at your hips, sprinkle your left fingertips all the way down, and then kick, kick, kick that foot all the way up. Full breath in, full breath out. Gently let go of your foot and begin to open up into a half moon. Spiral your chest and belly to the side. Stack your right hip on top of your lift. Flex the toes in towards your face. And again, shaking, that's okay. Losing your balance, that's okay. Big breath in. Exhale with the smile, landing warrior two. Woo, such a release. Reach through your fingertips. Inhale, reverse your warrior, sink low. Find a side body stretch. Feels so good to be here. Exhale, low lunge, cart through your hands down. Ground your hands. Inhale, sweep that left heel up to the sky. Three legged dog. Exhale, knee to your left tricep. And then begin to hinge forward, going into running and hinge. Bend these elbows. See if you can extend that left leg and then float the right toes back behind you. Energize your toes. Hold for three, two, one. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. If it didn't happen today, that's okay. You're here to practice. So be patient. Everything, everything comes with the practice. Fill up your lungs with air. Open mouth, let it out. Inhale, set your gaze. 
Exhale, step or float your feet in between the hands. Halfway lengthen, inhale. Bow over your legs, exhale. Chair pose as you inhale. Sink low. Exhale, airplane the arms. Sweep the arms back behind you. Try to grace your mat with the fingertips. This is how low you should sit in your chair pose. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane arms. Bring the arms back behind you. Lift your chest. Curl your tailbone. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back behind you. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Sink lower. Plant your hands. Crow pose. Come behind your toes. Bring those knees underneath your armpits. Gaze in front of you. Lean forward. Find each other on the arms. Float your toes one by one or both together. And then big toes to touch. Try to hold five. Maybe straighten the arms into crane pose. Four. Three. Two, one, step or shoot back, vinyasa, lone chaturanga, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, take a cleansing in breath, exhale, let go of perfection, <sighs> drop to your knees, camel pose, Ustrasana, come all the way up to kneeling. Bring the palms behind your fingertips. Point towards your neck. Now begin to press your hips forward. Lift your heart. Roll your shoulders back. Lean, lean. See if you can drop the gaze back behind you. Stay here or begin to reach to your heels. Now if you're reaching to your heels, don't lean back. Keep pressing the hips forward like you want to push a wall that's in front of you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands back to your lower back. Gently rise up. Have a seat. Modify your pose. Close your eyes. Cleansing breath in. Again, exhale. Let go of perfection. We don't want to do any poses perfectly. We're just here to practice so we can feel better. Just a friendly reminder. Now, get up to kneeling position. One more set of a camel pose. Hands behind you, begin to press the hips forward. Lift your heart, drop your head back behind you. See if you can find back wall with your eyes. When you have it, send the arms. See if you can reach to your heels. Press the hips forward. Lean back. Three breaths. See if you can breathe fuller and deeper. And this is one of the poses that's really hard to breathe full and deep. Hands back to your lower back. Slowly rise up, have a seat, big breath in, big breath out. <sighs> Drop your hips to one side, extend the right leg long out in front of you, solve your left foot to your right inner thigh in, into Janu Shirasana. Sit nice and tall, shoulders over your hips, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold over your right leg. Now you can grab any body part or lace your fingertips behind your right foot. Lift your heart to find length. And with the exhale, try to bring your chest to your knee and your cheek to your shin bone. Big breath in, big breath out. Gently come up. Place the sole of your left foot to the mat. Squeeze that left knee into your chest. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, it's fine, a twist. Right elbow outside of your left knee. You can hug that left knee into your chest. 
It is gonna help you to bring the elbow a little bit more out and go into a deeper twist. Lift hand back behind you, inhale. Lengthen out of your crown. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder and twist. Again, full breath in, deep breath out. Gently untwist. Now we're gonna bring that left knee on top of your right knee into cow face pose. Stage one, just stay right here. Stage two, to bend that right knee and stack both of your knees this way. Shimmy on your seat bones. Try to ground both of your seat bones. Inhale, fill up your chest. Exhale, see if you can walk the fingertips a little bit further away from you and then just bring your chest to rest on your knees to go deeper into the back of your hips. Big breath in. Big breath out. Lift your gaze, come back to a straight spine. Gaze over your right shoulder, bring the fingertips back behind you. Lift your seat bones and then pivot to the back of your mat into Prasarita Padottanasana. Grab your ankles, your heels, inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, pull the crown of your head all the way down. Open the elbows wide, find a deep stretch. Stage one, stay here. Stage two, bring the forearms down, create a basket with your palms. Place the crown of your head down and make your way to an inversion headstand. See if you can float your toes by pressing the earth away with your forearms and then gently floating, floating, floating your legs up. Squeeze the thighs together. Engage your core, tuck your tailbone. Release the pressure from your neck by pressing through your forearms. Hold for three, two, one. Gently begin to straddle, make your way back. Before you place your feet down, try to hover, hover, hover. Then place your feet down. Inhale, find a halfway to lengthen, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the hands forward, step your feet inside. Beautiful. Inhale, come to your toes, ripple forward, lower chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, set your gaze, exhale, step your feet or float in between the hands have a seat, extend your left leg long out in front of you, bring the sole of your right foot into your left inner thigh, sit nice and tall, sweep your arms up as you inhale, exhale, fold forward. The same variation as you did in the other side, keep both of your seat bones grounding to the earth, lift your chest and then just fold. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Lift the gaze, make your way back to a straight spine. Place the right toe on your mat, hug the right knee into your chest. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, squeeze that right knee inside, bring the left elbow outside of your right knee, right hand back behind you. On the inhale, lengthen first. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Gaze away, right shoulder. Suck that belly in. Fill up your lungs with air. Exhale, go deeper. Beautiful. Gently untwist. Now bring your right knee on top of your left. Again, stage one. You stay here. If your hips allow you to go deeper, bend that left knee. Cow face pose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ground your seat bones. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, walk the fingertips away from you and just fold over your legs. Ooh, that feels so good. Big breath in. Big breath out. 
gaze to the right. Bring the fingertips all the way to the right. I'm sorry, to the left we're gonna go. <laughs> then lift your seat bones and then pivot into Prasarita Parottanasana. Again, find a stretch or go right away into a headstand. So place your forearms down, create a basket. If you have any other inversions that you would like to play, forearm stand, pinch and rasana, or any other variation of headstand, this is a perfect time. So place the crown of your head down, come behind your toes, bring the hips over your shoulders, see if you can hover the toes. And then slowly, slowly, use your core, use your core, use your core, lift the legs, slowly, slowly, point your toes to the sky, squeeze the inner thighs, close your core, breathe, hold for three, two, one, Begin to straddle your legs slowly, slowly, slowly. Pike your hips. Then see if you can hover, hover, hover. Then place your feet back down. Inhale, find a halfway lengthen. Exhale, walk the hands in front of you. Make your way into downward facing dog. Inhale, come high on your toes. Exhale, ripple forward. Lower vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, set your gaze, exhale, walk your feet in between your hands, bend your knees, have a seat, roll yourself all the way down to the earth. Now here, we're gonna take one round of bridge pose or a full wheel pose. So yogi choice. I will guide you into a wheel pose. Bring the hands in line with your ears, fingertips points towards your shoulders. Inhale, begin to press through your hands and feet. Come halfway to your crown and then exhale. Press the earth away, straighten the arms and come into a wheel pose. So here, five breaths. If you want to go to a little bit deeper expression, walk the fingertips closer in towards your feet. Try to straighten the arms. Hold. Breathe. Three more breaths. When you're done, tuck the chin to your chest and gently roll down to your shoulders. Hug the knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Release your lower back. And prepare yourself into a shoulder stand. Lift your seat bones. Place your hands into your lower back. Begin to send your toes all the way up to the sky. Now try to create here a candle shape. So imagine yourself like you're a candle really straight and strong, super engaged, good, now breathe, and then maybe guide yourself into halasana, begin to plow pose, send the toes back behind you, maybe touch the earth, if you cannot touch the earth, so keep your hands at your lower back for support, if you can touch the earth, extend the arms in front of you, clamps your hands, press the knuckles into the earth, Try to bring your hips over the shoulders and just find your breath. If you want to try from Halasana, come back into shoulder stand with the clumps. So slowly guide one leg up. Use your core, engage your legs like crazy, and then flow the other leg up. Press the earth away with your shoulders. Point your toes to the sky. Big breath in. Big breath out. Bring the hands back into your lower back. Bend your knees. And then slowly roll yourself back down. 
Let's find a happy baby. Grab the outer edges of your feet. Open up your knees out wide and just rock side to side and massage your entire spine. You've done amazing today. It was a really challenging class. A lot of arm balances, inversions, core, heart opening. But mm, feels really, really good. Now let's hug the knees into your chest. Give ourselves a big hug, big squeeze. Fill up your lungs. And with the exhale, make your way into final resting pose, Shavasana. Arms alongside your body. Palms facing up to the sky for receiving or facing down for grounding. So whatever you need today. Never skip a Shavasana. Never, ever, ever, ever. Shavasana is the most important pose in your practice. It's when you allow your body to create a memory, to create a muscle memory, and really receive this amazing practice that you've done. And when you miss this part, you just miss everything that you've done today. So always give yourself a permission to relax for two minutes. It's only two minutes of your day. Nothing gonna change in those two minutes, but you gonna change tremendously if you're gonna give yourself these two minutes of relaxation. Begin to coming back to the natural flow of your breath. Just notice how your breath is flowing in and out through your nose. And ask yourself if you can relax a little bit more. Because yes, you can. You deserve that. When you feel ready, begin to bring awareness and consciousness back into your body. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingertips. Move your head side to side. With the inhale, sweep your arms overhead, take a full body stretch. Like a nice good morning stretch and then exhale, hug the knees into your chest, back side to side. Roll yourself to your right side, fiddle position. You can use your right arm as a pillow. And then slowly begin to make your way into a comfortable seated position, Sukhasana. Place the hands to rest on your knees, sit nice and tall. And we're gonna end up this practice with gratitude. So find three things that you are grateful for today. Then plug the hands into your heart. Bring your thumbs into your third eye, center of your intuition. Always trust and guide. Be guided by your intuition. Thank you, yogis. The divine and delight in me, season honor the divine and delight in each and every one of you. I bow to you. Namaste. <laughs>